And I call my dad and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go do this. And you know what my dad says to me? My dad says, <laughs> and I, like, I laid the piss out of the guy with the ball. And I'm like, oh, my face is bleeding. Oh, my nose is like giga broken. That was whenever I first hurt my neck. And I'm like, bro, I'm about to graduate. What the hell am I going to do? And I get convinced to play on a World of Warcraft vanilla private server. Next thing you know, Coach S Band is back. We're going to my alma mater, y'all. We can give a little bit of history on SMU football. I uh, went to SMU, okay? In case you guys did not know this already, I went to SMU. I was a student. I was a walk-on football player. Worked really hard, got on the team, ended up getting hurt, ah, right? Like sir, insta. I ended up getting hurt. football is back where IT belongs. That's right, that's right, right here. Right here on this here channel. I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible, but I'll give you a full picture. I got on the team as a walk-on. Before that, you know, I was trying to, trying to try out. I was an offensive player in high school, didn't really play any defense. They randomly threw me in on defense a few times. I started having injuries and stuff my senior year. I was like, dude, I was like Iron Man before that. Never got hurt, never nothing. Going into my senior year, I just started getting riddled with injuries. I played a little bit of defense. It might have been like, like a handful of plays the whole season. Whenever I went to college, I was a better fit as a defensive lineman because of my height, right? Because I'm six feet tall. Even that's kind of short for a D lineman, but it's really short for an O lineman. I'm trying to walk on whatever, test really well. I was strong. I was quick. Not super fast straight line, but, but I was quick and I was really strong. And uh, I was playing a new position. I didn't get on the team initially because they didn't do tryouts. So whenever they didn't do tryouts, it was only like preferred walk-ons. I had no defensive film. I transferred a little bit, did all this stuff, whatever. I'm like, you know what? I just want to help out however I can. At this point, I want to be involved. Can I, can I work? You know, can I volunteer to, to, to work or something? So I, so I in, over the summer one year, I work in the weight room. I start working in the weight room. The strength coach is like, bro, what are you doing? Like, like, like are you not, like, are you not going to try and walk on or something? And I'm like, Oh, well, I mean, they, 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 they said there's no tryouts and I don't have any film uh, of me playing defense. And he was like, you're like freaking as strong as all these guys. Like, what the hell? I said, I just I just want to be a water boy, 07. No, no, but I mean, I, I was working in the weight room. I was training in the weight room and that, that's I, I started to get to know a lot of the guys then. Following season, I was like, okay, since I'm done, people on campus kind of found out like, hey, he's, he's not trying to play football no more. Let's get him on the rugby team. I'm like, okay, sure. I'll go join the rugby team. They're like, okay, well, you know, if you want to join the rugby team, whatever, you know, come start coming to practice. And I call my dad and I'm like, hey, I'm going to go do this. And you know what my dad says to me? My dad says, don't play rugby. You're going to get hurt. Okay, there's no pads, no nothing. Don't play rugby. And you know what I did? I said, let me think about it. And I went and played rugby. And you know what happened? I broke my nose because I'm so used to this and engaging with my face that I went down and the coach is like, okay, we're gonna do a kickoff. Uh, kickoff coverage team, full speed. And I was like, full speed? And he's like, full speed, send it. Well, that's not what he said. He was like, uh, he had a different accent. <laughs> this is like, he didn't have the fo Texas football coach accent. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, just send it full speed. And I'm like, okay. And I, like, I laid the piss out of the guy with the ball. And I'm like, oh, my face is bleeding. Oh, my nose is like giga broken. I broke it bad. Like I was recovering from that broken nose for like two or three months, whatever. I, I, they were like, you can't work out because it's your blood vessels and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, well, ass. Next semester wow. rolls around. You know what ends up happening? Like, hey, we're gonna give you a shot. Come walk on. And I'm like, bro. Hell yeah. Like that's what I want to do. So I, so I go, I walk on and, and like I show up and I'm, and I'm strong, right? I'm feeling good. I'm strong. Like I was in, I was in good shape, right? I'm working on the D line. I'm like learning how to play defense. Cause it's a little, you know, it's a little bit different. I mean, football is football. So a lot of the stuff is still like, you know, all the technique and stuff is the same, but I'm putting in like all the extra time. Uh, I go in like for all of spring break. I, I don't take off. I'm going working extra with like the D line, the graduate assistants and it, any, any opportunity that I, that I can get. It was me and a guy, uh, Justin Lawler, who's a buddy of mine. He played for the Rams and the Titans, I believe. We came in every single day. Uh, we came in every single day and we're working together and stuff. Uh, but what ends up happening, ironically enough, I end up hurting my neck in practice, 
going up against Justin. We're doing like a tackle drill. And uh, I end up, that's, that was whenever I first hurt my neck. That was when I originally hurt my neck. So like the neck stuff that I have going on now was from that. Things happen, whatever. I end up getting hurt pretty quickly. And then it's like, look, no hard feelings, no whatever. It's just, it's, it's, not, it's not, I mean, it's not good, right? I come out, I get hurt right away. It's a liability for me, liability for the, it's just, it's not, I'm like, look, I get it, right? Still super supportive, whatever. Next season comes by, uh, new coaching staff comes in. I get a call, right? I get a call from a coach that gets retained. Coach that gets retained on staff. There's a couple guys, a couple coaches, staff members that get retained. One of the staff members calls me and he's like, hey, so these new guys came in with Chad Morris and they wanted to do all these things different. They're doing like all these different camera angles, uh, video stuff, tech stuff. They want graphics, they want social media, right? Uh, we know you're, you love SMU, you love football. We know you're really smart. Would you be interested in coming back? You know, I, we can't give you a job yet, but would you be down to like volunteer and help out a little bit? So I go and I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Within two weeks, I'm basically doing all of our recruiting graphics, helping out with video, you know, media, like ev I'm doing, I, I'm literally the Persian army knife. Yeah, I'm literally the Persian army knife. Like I'm doing a little bit of everything except for like on the field coaching. Working for free, yes, but you know, within, within two weeks, I'm like doing everything and they're like, oh my gosh, we like, we hit the jackpot with this kid. You know, things go on, I'm, I end up, I'm enrolled as a full-time student. I changed my major from computer science to sport management. So I'm doing like business stuff now. I'm like working full-time in division one college football like super like high stakes environment while being a full-time college student. I, I'm getting paid pretty good for a student, but I'm getting way underpaid for what my job is. When I, when I start taking these classes, I start taking these classes and my professor tells me, what, one of like the, the he's like actually the department head was talking to me and he's like, hey, do you realize like what you're doing? Cause like, you know, this was, a, there was so much hype, dude. There's so much hype whenever, whenever Chad Morris came to SMU and, like the graphics, like I'd have like my graphics and stuff posted and it would get everywhere. Yeah, it like, it'd be, it'd be everywhere. And be like, you're doing like a six figure job here. Like this is like, you like you should be getting paid six figures for this. Like, like as far as like the, what you're doing, the level at which you're doing it, the amount of work you're doing, like this is, this is really impressive. And I'm like, yeah, I know, you know, they said they're gonna have a full-time job for me once I graduate, it's all good. Change my major, all this stuff. So I changed my major, doing that, go through school, everything is going great. I'm about to graduate here. And uh, like a week before graduation, maybe two weeks, I don't remember now. Admin says, why, wait, why are we making this new position? We don't need this, yoink. <laughs> right before I graduate, admin pulls, admin ends up pulling the position. And I'm like, bro, I'm about to graduate. What the hell am I going to do? So I go through, I graduate, and I'm gonna be honest, I was not happy. I was, I was like, and that hurt, because I gave everything I had, and it wasn't anything specific that I could do. But I stayed in touch with the coaches. You guys have seen some of my coaches like stream snipe me before, right? Not actually stream snipe, but I've like literally ran into old coaches of mine on stream. And uh, it's like, what the hell? So like, I mean, I, I kept a very good relationship with everybody that I worked with, but I was like, damn, this sucks. I'm like, I'm looking for other jobs. I'm working on my teaching certificate. I have, co I have high school coaches, get your certificate, you got a job. Get your certificate, you got a job, easy. Cause like, I, I was pretty well known, like, I, I, I had a very good reputation, like amongst the, 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 the circle of people I kept as a hard worker, smart, you know, SMRT. And then uh, also like being involved with like Chad Morris, in, in Texas, like Chad Morris is a big name, right? I mean, this guy is like, he, I mean, he was president of the Texas High School Football Coaches Association, whatever. So like people naturally are like, okay, you know, if, if you're involved with that, like he's got a very good reputation. If you're in Arkansas, unfortunately things didn't go well in Arkansas for, for Coach Morris. Did you already but find I, an I editor for the new YouTube just, yeah, channel? He gets, he gets, a, I think he gets a bad rap because of that, unfortunately. Yeah, so I go, I'm like, what am I gonna do? I like I, I I was full send on this thing and I was like, you know what? I'm trying to talk to people at other colleges. I need to keep editing videos to kind of stay in practice. And I get convinced to play on a World of Warcraft vanilla private server. And I'm like, I will play this, but I should make videos so that I can keep in touch with my video editing. 
because I hadn't really played a whole lot of WoW in years. Actually, I, dude, I didn't play video games for like two years. So I start playing on the server, I start making videos. Next thing you know, my YouTube channel pops off. I become the, the vanilla WoW guy, the WoW classic waiting room. Next thing you know, we're here. And now I'm a streamer. Let's go. That's how I became a streamer. I wasn't even gonna stream. The only reason I even streamed, streamed at all was because I ran out of hard drive space. So I was like, I'm just gonna stream my raids so I could show people my raids. And that's it. And I was still gonna edit my small videos because I didn't have a hard drive space to, to record. So yeah, so that's how, that's how I started streaming. That's what I did before I started streaming, but that's, that's how it all got started. Oh, and then when I got banned from YouTube, I end up getting another call from SMU and I get another job to go back. I start streaming on Twitch and, I, and I'm streaming from the press box yeah, I'm streaming from the press box. That's where this came from. So that's why if you see those old VODs and stuff, I'm, I'm here. So that's like the whole thing. So, uh, and people are like, where are you? I'm like, oh, I'm at SMU Stadium. So, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Pull up an old clip of you there. Yeah, here's a clip from me in the stadium. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a clip from me in the stadium. I, I ran, they were like, I, they were like, is the stadium real? And I'm like, yes. And like, okay, if it's so real, why don't you run on the field? I said, okay. So that I ran down story, there and I did I the- I was a little confused by the rugby part when you said you laid in the piss of some guy. No, no, what I laid the piss out of someone. is it a core tenant of your rebuild? Unbelievable, unbelievable. So yeah, that's, uh, so that's basically it. I mean, that's, that's the history of like, what I did before I started streaming and uh, how I how I got into I mean I always wanted to like play Ma I, I love Madden and I love NCAA which is now college football I always wanted to stream like find a way to combine streaming and football and over the last couple of years like with the tailgate tour and everything else that we've been doing like the, the doors kind of opened up to be like the football guy which has been like sick I mean I've done so many different things when are you playing the game uh how about now EA College Football 25. Okay, chat, what do I delete? I, do, no, okay. I am playing Rebirth, okay? I'm not deleting this, okay? I will play Rebirth. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I swear I will play this in the near future.